So the Museum of Boulder and Spark Fun teamed up to make an exhibit for the grand opening of the new museum in downtown Boulder. It is called Boulder Bounces, and it's actually a recreation of the Simon Says through-hole soldering kit, but instead of buttons, we did it with trampolines, and then instead of LEDs, we actually did spotlights coming down from the ceiling to light up the trampolines. The purpose of this installation was to augment another installation at the museum called um, Sportsology. And that one is actually an interactive design where participants can come to the museum and try to jump as high as you can, throw a ball as fast as you can. One of them is like hang time, how long you can hang. So we had a pretty awesome digital mock-up and we proposed it to the museum and SparkFun, got approved and we had about three weeks to pull this off. So I quickly started designing circuit boards and getting them on order. We finished the design panels for the control boards, got those on order, ordered trampolines. Um, it was kind of total mayhem for three weeks, but we pulled it off and it is live at the museum right now. The original ones had mechanical switches underneath the trampolines. So they came with the trampolines. I bought some exercise trampolines and um, those work great if, if you have a certain amount of weight jumping on the trampoline, but sometimes they'll miss the little youngsters because they don't quite have enough oomph to push down the trampoline skin. Um, so for this next installation, I went with our ultrasonic range finder, and that just senses the distance of that skin from the ground. So even if you have the slightest movement there, I can read that data and sort of trigger a spotlight. And the trampolines are actually hexagonal in shape, and then when you put three of them together, there's no gap in the middle, which is a little bit safer. Um, we've had some participants at SparkFun fall into that sort of little gap there if you're jumping across um, during gameplay. In addition to the, the main three trampolines, uh, we did two single trampolines on the corners of the room. One was called the Mighty Mini, um, and that one has a handlebar for toddlers to hold onto as they jump. And then for that trampoline, they can choose between ducks or drums. The other trampoline on the other side of the room is called Hop and Hear. And that one is just a bunch of sounds. So it has six modes and you can have jungle sounds, uh, cartoon sounds, farm animal sounds. Um, I went with the Tsunami Wave Trigger. And I really liked that product because that can actually overlay audio. So if you start a track, you can start another one mid-track, and that's called po polyphonic. Um, so that way it doesn't cut off the like elephant sound if it's making that nice long you know, I don't want it to snip that off. The original installation also had a ton of hand soldering. So on the Simon Says, I was wiring to each one of these points. For this next one, I designed a custom circuit board that is based off of the Pro Mini, but breaks everything out with nice labels so that I could more clearly keep things organized and know which I.O. I was using for the buttons and for the trampolines. The hexagonal trampolines also brought in a pretty big design challenge for the covers, the custom color covers that go on the trampolines. Um, and so that's where my wife really kicked into gear. She did a ton of sewing to get those right. And it was like a lot of math to make sure that it would fit a nice hexagonal pattern. We tried to keep this as simple as possible, but with the control interfaces, and all those buttons, it still required a ton of hand soldering. And then also, this was the most physically demanding coding I've ever done because I was writing some code and then I would have to run over to my trampolines and jump on them and then come back to the computer and write some more code and then jump back on the trampolines. So that was really fun. It kept the blood pumping. That's not a bad idea to hop on a trampoline for a minute while you're working on some code rather than just sitting at your desk, <laughs> sipping on coffee for energy. I think next time I take on a project of this size, I'm going to give myself much more of a buffer in terms of time. We had three weeks and I pretty much used up every free moment and wee hour of the evening <laughs> that I could to get it done. But it's live at the museum right now and so I'd encourage you to check it out if you're here in Boulder. It's a really fun thing to check out. They have a bunch of other exhibits live right now. There's something about um, Da Vinci, where they brought in a bunch of Da Vinci's inventions, um, recreated, and you can check them out and play with them. Uh, there's the Sportsology uh, exhibit, which is live and includes our Simon trampolines. Um, and then there's one, there's the maker space to check out as well, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, thanks for checking this out. And um, 
come see it at the museum if you get a chance.